half in the bag. The final downfall of Mike and Jay. Oh, God. I just shit my pants. Oh, again? Will you change my diaper, Daddy? I haven't changed mine yet. Uh, oh. Oh, yes. Uh, no, Mike, no. No more Glenn Beasley. But I gotta take my pain away. Oh. There's a new Avatar movie coming out soon, and I want to be dead before then. Glenn Beasley, take me away. No, Mike, no. No. You no, fucker, no, give me no, my pain. No. No. What? Huh? Hello, Mike and Jay. It's me, Harry Plinkett from Lightning Fast VCR Repair. What? Who? I'm here to fix your VCR, and I only charge about $5,000 a minute, and it should only take me about 10 years! Uh, hey, Jay. Did you call some guy to come fix our VCR? Oh, 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 let me help you with that. Oh, thank you, sir. What? Oh. Hey, mister. Let me teach you a thing or two about politeness. That's not very professional. I'll tell you what's not professional. Defrauding an old man for over 10 years. Why, all he wanted was to watch his night court tape. And you made him wait so long, they rebooted the series! I checked my bank account, and you two frauds have stolen over three million dollars of my money! Oh, wow. What did you spend it all on? Booze? Movie tickets? I'll tell you what you didn't spend it on! Jenny Craig! Hey, that's uncalled for. I have a thyroid problem. This is very rude. Very rude. Uh, look, we just gotta order a couple, just a couple more parts Cut it with your all. slurring bullshit, Grandma! Now get in your wheelchair Dang. and shut it, you Ah, oh, God, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Look, look, we'll pay you back all the money, okay? I'll go to the thrift store and buy a VCR for like a dollar. Then you can watch your night court tape, okay? Oh, I've already watched my night court tape. Sucked. Wasn't funny anymore. What? In fact, I found most of the humor pretty cringe, sexist, problematic. It's no longer on fleek. Oh my God, Mr. Plinkett's gone woke. How dare you talk about Night Court like that? Oh, more Glumbeezas in my pocket. <sighs> ah, Glumbeeza. The final downfall of Mike and Jay. Who would have thought that a pharmaceutical company could produce a product that would ruin somebody's life? The sweet release of pain. It came with such a steep price, didn't it? You speak of my pain? It runs deep. Let me share it with you! What the f***? Oh, oh my god. What the f***? Oh, see! Ow! Oh, Ow, oh, my knee! Oh god! Oh no! What the f***? Mr. Stop! Don't hurt him! Oh, oh my head! Stop throwing me! Uh, Help me, Lord! Uh, Ow! Uh, 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 uh. Help me, Jesus! Oh, God! Jesus can't help you now, Mike! Oh! 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 I give up. Oh, uh, I think I'm having a heart attack. Good. How? How are you so young and virile? You were once a doddering old man, confused and frail. Is it the Adderall? Did you snort it like all the college kids do nowadays? No, Jay. 
It turns out the answer to eternal youth was right in front of us all along. In fact, it was all around us. Felth? In a manner of speaking, yes. You see, one day, when I was fixing VCRs for you two, I broke one of my tools. And while attempting to remove a part from the inside of the VCR with my teeth, my tongue came in contact with the VCR head drum. The rest of the day, I had a strange energy that I just couldn't explain. I used a solution to remove the outermost layer of chemicals from the head drum. After confirming with an old Navy chemist buddy of mine from World War II, I determined that the compound used to protect the head drum from magnetic damage was called Zydroxydrazanine-63, an element that is not from planet Earth. After doing some research, I discovered that the man that invented the first videotape media process in 1956 was, oddly enough, a young private that was at the site of the Roswell crash in New Mexico. I read about that in a magazine. This chemical compound, when ingested, reverses cellular degradation and re-extends the length on your genetic telomeres. In the span of a few months, I de-aged from a 100-something year old man to my current age of 58. Don't I look great? So you found the fountain of youth in our VCR repair shop? And it involves licking a part of a VCR? The video head drum? Yes, I licked so many heads, it made me young again! Uh, um... I just love giving head! I mean, licking heads! VCR heads! That don't make no sense. Who writes this crap? Uh, what? The thing is, no one in human history has ever licked a VCR head before. Because why would they? Oh. It was mere accident that I discovered this VCR part is made with a DNA-altering alien technology. In a few months, I'll be 20 years old again, and I'm gonna market this element in pill form and make zillions of dollars! <laughs> That's not a bad idea, actually. Good on you, little boy. But what about the VCR repair shop? Out of business. I dismantled and licked the drums of every VCR that every idiot brought in. Soon the company went out of business. Your location is now a payday loan store. Oh. But what about the other branches? Oh, the whole company's been dissolved. Uh, your former boss, the CEO, Tim, yeah, he sold his share of the company and is now working for Trump's 2024 presidential campaign. Huh. Well, that's surprising. I'm Bisa. Here. Kill yourself with Lumbiza. See if I care. Soon, with President Trump by my side, we will rule this universe for eternity! <laughs> uh, Mike, why are we here again? Because, Jay, this half in the bag timeline is totally fucked. These guys have written themselves into a boring, dumb hole where they have to play characters that nobody wants to see. There's other half-of-the-bag timelines? Thousands, maybe even millions. But in only six of them, Mike isn't fat. Hey, that's uncalled for. I have a thyroid problem. Isn't this a lot like that Star Trek TNG episode parallels that you hate so much? Ugh, it is, and good job being one step ahead of the annoying comments. But some timelines are just too lame to exist. Okay, so what do we do? Use the deus ex machine. Just type in, uh... In this universe, the guy who invented Glimbiza got hit by a bus and died, and then hit enter. <laughs> Hey, it worked! Okay, great. Now let's go fix the universe where Jay never grew his beard. Ugh. Oh man, I can't wait for tonight's game. The Packers are having their best season ever. I love football. That's right, Jay. But I think you're wrong about something you said. I do not think Brett Favre should retire. Even at 53, he's still getting it done. Thank God after all these years, he's still the Packers quarterback. If not, who knows what he'd be doing? Maybe something horribly shady and illegal. 
You guys fix my VCR yet? Uh, not quite yet, Mr. Plinkett. Uh, no, it'll be done soon. We're just waiting on those parts. Oh, good, good. It's been a while now. And I really want to watch my Newhart tape. Should we tell him that Bob Newhart died 12 years ago? No, let's not spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh. Mm. I'm getting a notification on my cellular telephone. Hmm. Oh, the movie theater down the street is re-releasing Star Wars Episode One: Rise of the Dark Side. Oh, that's awesome. You know how much I love the Star Wars prequels, Jay? George Lucas, man, he's pure Kino. I can't wait to see what he does with the upcoming Episodes 7, 8, and 9. To me, it's amazing that a huge franchise like Star Wars is still under the control of a singular artist and hasn't been sold off to some soulless mega corporation. Well, let's head on down to the movie theater. Maybe when we're there, we can see another movie too. Absolutely. I love the theater going experience. Let's go! <laughs> Guys? Bye. Guys, did you fix my VCR? Ugh. God, I fucking hate Night Court. <laughs>